similar looking bikes sharing the same frame have been on the market for some time. Inside, they are so different. Charging is a huge thing uh, with electric vehicles. After you pass the first purchase excitement and you actually start using it on a daily basis, if it's not convenient to use, you will eventually start hating it. Do you know what the best revolution is e-bikes? That's a fast built-in charger. Three kilowatt charger charges my battery in one hour. Most of the time I see dudes on the bikes having these 900 watt chargers and that type, that's a huge heavy brake. Hypothetically, your four kilowatt hour battery, that brake charges it in four and a half hours. <laughs> Here's what I learned on my couple years long experience with e-bikes. 60 to 80 kilometers range per charge is plenty. I live in a small town and we have a big city 16 kilometers away. That means if I need to go to bank shopping, I have 32 kilometers back and forth. That gives me 40 kilometers in a city. When we go for bigger trips, when we, for example, have a cabin 80 kilometers far, we usually split it so we have a charge in the middle. This charges that's an amazing social event when we chat with buddies we want to share the experience and it's amazing with fast chargers we usually do 40 minutes uh, we charge fully and we are ready to move on it's something different when some friends join us and have slow chargers that changes the dynamic because as we go to the cabin 80 kilometers they need to be super careful about how hard they go on their throttles. In 40 minutes, when we are fully charged, they charge 10-15%. It's insignificant amount of charge they get. As we go intensively throughout the weekend and we charge and discharge all the time, these dudes end up with one discharge a day. That absolutely takes away user experience with e-bikes. Of course I don't ride 27 kilowatt all the time. That's a peak power and 27 kilowatt is plenty when you need to get away from that crossroad, when you need to accelerate quickly because that's the time when you use 27 kilowatt. You don't use it on a daily basis, you never discharge the entire battery with 27 kilowatt constant, that's nonsense. This is how e-bikes work. You have nominal power and you have peak power. Nominal power is amount of power you can be using all the time. Peak power is only a temporarily boost for 15 seconds. And trust me, 15 seconds is way too much. searching for an e-bike or if you're searching for something similar please do me a favor don't just compare the frame you need to compare size of the battery but not in volts or amps it needs to be in kilowatt hours that's objective measurement don't just compare power it's a nominal power and a peak power you just don't compare visually and after I explained you everything with charging, how inconvenient it can be. 
Now you know what to be looking at when you're purchasing an e-bike. This is 27 kilowatt peak power. Usually these have 10, 13 kilowatt power. That's double. To make it clear, I don't build these frames. I buy them. If you want it, I can supply it. I can supply semi-finished bike with front fork, with finished wheels, or I can supply finished bikes. My previous build 4.2 is much lighter e-bike. It's more user-friendly because it's easy to manipulate, it's easy to handle. And you can see more about this bike on my website, mysuperebike.com. It's a user-friendly DIY project, so I'm supplying a parts list. You can follow that and build it yourself based on my video guide. This way, the bike costs you only parts. And just to say it again, my Cyberbike has 3 kilowatt hour built-in charger. You don't carry anything on your back. And e-bike 4.2 has 1.6 kilowatt hours. We are super happy how this Cyberbike turned out. It's an amazing machine and we have great news because we're taking pre-orders. We'll be making them in batches. That's because we want to be lowering the price. So the more pieces we can make, cheaper the parts for us will be and cheaper the overall bike will be. So we updated the price down in the description. You can check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope I was able to explain you something new and and expand on your perception of e-bikes. So stay tuned on this channel. We're planning to publish much, much more cool content about e-bikes and how we use them on a daily basis. Subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell down below so you're up to date. See you next time.